The, the attack situation seems to be under control, according to police, but the, the details are emerging literally by the minute. Let's first go through those uh, casualty tolls, which are building by the minute as well. Uh, as six, at least six, have been killed in this attack. The new figure we're getting on the injured is 48. We are told they are being treated at five different hospitals in the London area, and we are told that one of those people being treated is a police officer. 80 medics were at the scene of this attack, and they were treating more people, so-called walking wounded, there at the scene, so many more than 48 on the injured side. The three attackers, uh, as you noted, uh, shot and killed as well. A little bit more of information we're getting about the movements of the attacker. So they were in a white van on the north side of that iconic London Bridge, which crosses the, the River Thames. They sped down about 50 miles an hour south across the bridge, swerving onto the sidewalk, then the road, the sidewalk, the road, hitting pedestrians, and then they smashed into some balustrades by the end of the bridge, and that's where they ended up. They didn't stop there, though. They hopped out of the van and ran about five or six blocks over to the borough market area on the south side of the river. For people who know New York, uh, the best comparison I could make is South Street Seaport. It's got shops, it's got restaurants, it's got markets, and it's got people. And that's when they went on their, their stabbing spree there. Uh, people are saying they were wearing something that looked like suicide vests. Uh, it's been they've been described as fake by some accounts, but maybe just malfunctioning by other accounts. Also, eyewitnesses say they were screaming out, uh, God is great, Allah Akbar. Uh, no confirmation of that, but that is all feeding into this narrative coming from the prime minister's office, coming from the police office, that this is being treated absolutely as a terror attack, one with a few differences, of course. We've seen the uh, vehicles hitting uh, pedestrians on bridges before. The end of March, we saw that. The Westminster Bridge, a few bridges down the river from where this occurred. But we haven't seen the numbers. Three different uh, people involved in the attacks, and that has got people alarmed. Again, it is being called a terror attack. It is being uh, scrutinized now, very shortly, in an emergency session with Prime Minister May, who, by the way, alerted uh, President Trump about this, President Trump tweeting offering the United States help and a few other items. Oh, one more note on a political side. The, uh, there are parliamentary elections here on Thursday to decide the makeup of uh, the new parliament here to, to decide who will be the prime minister for the next five years in these very crucial times here in the U.K. They, they just voted on Brexit, breaking away from the European Union, all the other troubles going on in Europe right now. That campaigning is now suspended. All eyes, all focus on this horrendous attack. Back mm. to you guys. All right, Greg Palcott, live in London. Thank you.